Hello, once again, I'm David Frazier, the founder, president, and chief market strategist of Frazier, Brown & Mayer, LLC, the provider of InvestorsMonitor.com. In this video, we're going to briefly, uh, very briefly, discuss the political monitor pages of our website. To begin, please note that in this video, in all future videos regarding our uh, internet pages, you need to be logged into our site to be able to uh, view uh, the pages that I discuss in those videos. So make sure you go up here to this area, to the top right corner of our screen, click on log in, input the username and email address as well as the password that you used to subscribe to our internet site whether it's a an ongoing subscription or a trial subscription complete the math quiz which is of course really difficult of course I'm just joking and click on login once you're logged into the site you'll notice that the uh, login button up here in the right corner the login link uh, turns into log out, and that's because you're now logged into our site. Okay, as I said, we're going to discuss in this video, or, or I should say review, the political monitor pages of our site. So first, let's scroll down to the significant development section, and you'll notice uh, if you visit our site on any given day that we tend to have information regarding uh, economic developments on almost a daily basis and that's because there usually is some significant uh, economic uh, developments uh, that's uh, announced on any given day that the financial markets are open for trading. In contrast, there's not as many significant political developments uh, announced on any given day or in any given week. And as of the recording of this particular video on June 20th of 2019, the last time that we uploaded any comments regarding significant U.S. political developments was on June 8th of this year. Uh, remember, we only, unlike other financial market websites and all news sites, general news sites that I'm aware of, you know, we don't comment on just any given factor or development. I mean, the definition of news is information on some given event. It doesn't have to be import, an important event. Uh, unlike those websites, we comment only on significant factors and developments. Significant developments. Developments that we expect to affect the near-term future direction of the financial markets. So having said that, you can click, if you're logged into our site, uh, on this Read More button underneath U.S. Political Developments, and you'll get uh, uh, the same information that I uh, discussed in uh, an earlier video uh, regarding that particular uh, development. But let's say that you were out of the office for a few days, or you, you were unable to, for whatever reason, to stay abreast of, to keep up with some important um, uh, political announcements. Well, if that's the case, no problem. You just come up here as long as you're logged into our site. Come up here, put your mouse over political monitor, and click on either of the uh, below items, or both of them, one at a time, of course, and you'll get an archive going back uh, Approximately two years is when we began uploading these political development types of commentaries to our site, uh, and you'll, you'll have an archive uh, for that whole period. So you can click on any of these that you notice that you might have um, uh, missed for the actual facts, uh, such as uh, President Trump's and uh, uh, Mexican officials reached deal to avoid U.S. tariffs on uh, U.S. imports from Mexico. And just like our economic uh, commentaries, now these you know these commentaries tend to be very very short, 50 words or less, not a thousand word article. We don't need to waste your time. So uh, we have archives of both U.S. political uh, developments and international political developments. 
Okay, that's all for now. I hope you got something out of this video. In our next video regarding the pages of our internet website, I'll review the earnings monitor pages of our site. Thanks for watching.